weather check for the 19th. It's bright and sunny. Are we sure it's December? What a yummy goodness do we have today? How is it the 19th, by the way? <laughs> Umbrella. Oh, I think it's a clock. It's another white chocolate leaf. That's like four. Oh well. Oh God. Hey peeps, Merry Vlogmas day 19. Uh, I'm down in the main house behind one of our decorated Christmas trees. Still doesn't have a star. Uh, Mum has gotten the star out, so we're gonna try and fix that because it's actually a hanging decoration, not one that's meant to go up there, but it'll be fine. Thank you so much for everyone being so lovely about the comment thing. As I say, I do read more. I love reading the comments from you guys. Uh, it just, I, I, I can't keep up with you. And that's a nice position to be in, so yes. I will try and answer as many questions as I can in the video, so I've got a few to answer today. One of them is about Mum's quilting, so let me show you. Hello, Mum. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had asked whether you get your quilts long arm quilted, send them off mm -hmm. to have them done, or if you do them yourself. So, as you can see, I do them myself. Some with a design, and that's the back of the design. You can just see. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. And then on the front, it looks like that. Feathers, beautiful feathers as well. Beautiful feathers. Yes. yes. And you do it um, with tracing paper. And this I've done freehand completely, mm. following the design and putting additional wadding underneath to do trapunto, trapunto with the yeah. peacock. Yes. <clears throat> and this is, um, and she's doing it all with a six inch throat space mm. on her machine. This is why she's upgrading to the larger like mine, because mine has 12 inches under there. And mum's only got six, so you know, roll it up again. And I do do all of these bits as well. Through Stitch hands. in the ditch, yeah. And and the actual uh, in the. Oh, what are you doing in columns. there? Uh, well, I've done them on the big one. If you wanted to have a look. Oh, we'll do we'll do that when we do your uh, yeah. your your, <laughs> your your quilting journey. But kind I will of. follow a, a pattern. Yeah. And um, just to. Yeah. Stabilise it all. Yes. It's very beautiful. And this is also, this is the side of a king size quilt. Yeah. So you, you're kind of quilting as you go, um, and then you're going to attach all the pieces together. Yeah. Um, once you've got the individual bits quilted, yeah. which just gives you a fighting a chance of being able to get into the middle of the quilt and quilt it, really, yeah. doesn't it? I did do the flat big bit all in one. Yeah. Which is huge. Yes. And we'll show, we'll show them. <laughs> yes. So just come down. And there's a parcel all the way from Australia. I know who this is from. Claire, it's you. What have you sent me? Oh, <laughs> mum and dad have parcels, a uh, card too. I think mum's going to approve of that name actually. Oh, wow. I've never heard of these. And they're Cadbury's. Cherry Ripple chocolates. I'm excited. And if I can get the oh, I'm making a mess now. Come on, tape. Scissors. Scissors would be good. Oh, there are no scissors. Where have the scissors gone? Um, right. That's yes, definitely. And one chocolate each so we don't have to share. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, and on the back too. Thank you so much, Claire. That's so lovely of you. Thank you. Both of you, go. <laughs> it's like herding cats. I did say come here and you walked straight past me. There we go. <laughs> like I said, herding cats. <laughs> oh, um, oh God. <laughs> so the lovely Claire has sent you chocolates. Oh. And, um, oh, and chocolate. <laughs> and a card from Math Australia with really, really good tape. There we go. Oh, lovely. Ah! 
bit of a treat. Thank you. Rather it's nice. Dark fabric dark washing fairy and the quilting queen. I like that. I've got a nickname now. <laughs> I'm glad it's not the fabric washing queen and the quilting fairy. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Did you not like Ginger Nut Crusher? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's lovely. Lovely card. Thank you very much. Claire. Yes. Quilty Gal. She oh, follows you on after Instagram. After my own heart. Yes, you follow me on Instagram. Wonderful. You. Wishing you both a wonderful Christmas and a happy, healthy 2018. Yeah. I so enjoy your cameo roles in Sean's videos. Hope yeah. to meet you in person when we come to the Isle of Wight. Oh yeah. In 2018. Oh wow, yeah. that'd be really exciting. Yeah. Fabulous. Look forward to it. <laughs> when, when are we away? No, seriously, when are we away? Beginning, end of January. End of, don't make it the end of January. We won't be here. No, yeah. she's enjoying her summer currently. She's not going to come in our winter. <laughs> no. She'll come in Nothing our summer. Nothing wrong with our winter. <laughs> Bloody is. That's why we're going away. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Man up. Man up work pants. It's the 19th today. All day. All day, yeah. yes. Not half the day, no. not even a quarter of it. No. The whole day. All of it. It's milk. Before. It looks like a teardrop. Right down. Oh no, there. Okay. It's Pepite Amon. Oh, we like almond. Now, Karen. And I know I'm saying that wrong, and I listen to the German pronunciation, and I cannot get your name right, so I do apologise. But the lovely lady who sent us the biscuits did some research for you, um, because she was a bit like worried about the tortoise and the orca and the. So it turns out David Rio, who makes the teas, sponsors different uh, charities that look after the animals, ah. and then all of the profits from the orca tea go to killer whales. So there actually aren't any killer whales in your, in your teas, Dad. Mm -hmm. You're all right. No tortoises were hurt, harmed in the making of this calendar. I'll for it then. That's so it's even wonderful. nicer. Mm. So feel, mm. yeah. But again, we got that one for free, so. Not that one? No, yeah. the one, you, your oh, one. one, yes. Middle, um, column, nine. bottom, up to. She says, looking at that Yes, one. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Is it an elephant? We haven't had an elephant yet. Mum, you can't do that. Classic vegan. Oh, okay. We've had that one before. Yes. Where are the elephants? <laughs> Hiding in the bush. Apparently so. <laughs> Did he got stuck? Yeah. I just persuaded it. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> what, what is it? Oh, it, we were, it was waffles. It was waffles. The um. Oh right. Uh, yesterday's. It's this one. Leave Oh, that's what we've been waiting Oh. Yay! Get it in, in camera this time. You yes, yes, time. I did. I, I closed up later, whilst yeah. after we'd stopped but talking it was about it. I know it was rubbish. Yeah. What, what are those? Excellent. We ought to have a go at them. We should, mm. yes. So I've had a slight disaster. Um, I've pinned everything on except for the bodiced front and the waistband, and as you can see, there is definitely not enough room there. Uh, let's grab it. Yeah, definitely not enough room for that. However, mum, bless her, in her wisdom, uh, bought some of the same silk at the same time from the same shop. So there's a, there's a meter here, um, which she has very kindly given me. So I'm going to be able to cut out all of my dress, which is amazing because I could have made the skirt shorter, but I really, really wanted a long skirt on this one. So yay. So I have, the interlining cut out and now the main fabric cut out. The next thing I need to do is cut out all the lining pieces. So the red coupe pro is going to be for the bodice and the black lawn is going to be for the waistband and the skirt. Fingers crossed I have enough of that. 
red silk dress is all cut out. Uh, cut, having to cut things out three times is uh, time consuming, but it will be worth it. So I changed my mind about my pajamas. I'm going to do them in the chocolate biscuits cotton silk blend that I have because the I was going to use the abalone but that is an enormous print and I would have had to have been careful of print placement and given that this is a wearable muslin I would rather be able to just whack the pieces down um, get get it cut out get it made up and then for the next ones if I decide to use the abalone print be a little bit more careful and specific about where things go but yes the Carolyn pajamas are next so nothing has been without its problems today, but I have overcome all of them because, you know, as you do, oh good grief. Am I a problem? No, you're not a problem. Neither is the oh. dog. Oh. Uh, yes, no, so the Eve dress needs 140 centimetre wide fabric and this is 120 centimetres wide. So I have folded it um, in half that way. So that's the selvage and the selvage just hanging over the edge there. And I'm going to cut it out that way because that will work. Dad has made me a Linda McCartney cheese and uh, onion plat and the roast potatoes with the herbs from the calendar. And neither of them can remember having watched The Princess Bride. I'm sure it's going to come screaming back to them, but I am making them watch it this evening and I'm so excited. I actually want to watch them watching it rather than watching the film because I know it off by heart. But yes, very excited. So did you guys enjoy that? Well, I wouldn't be so sentimental. Oh, yeah, it was good. It's one of my favourite films ever. Yeah. I've had a really lovely day. I've done, uh, I've cut out the Little Red Dress project out of the interlining and the actual silk. So that's cool. Managed to find enough enough black cotton lawn to line it with as well <laughs> at one point I, had, I was missing one panel so oh god and then I remembered I had some in my stash up here so thank goodness for stashes then I've cut out the Carolyn pajamas out of the chocolate biscuit fabric which is a cotton silk blend from Spoonflower and then I have cut out the Eve dress out of the green uh, green black white and orange floral viscose that I got from Satisfaction, and yeah so everything is cut out now I've, I did all the things yesterday as well so I've got the uh, Victory Patterns Jackie dress the Vogue pattern 8255 I think and what else did I cut out yesterday something else oh the muslin for the or the calico for the coat muslin which I've cut the entirety of it out because I want to see how I like the skirt and if I want to tweak the front um, of that and see how that lays I'm also going to sew it together with a really long stitch length because I'm going to then take parts of it two pieces to use as a backstay and some in sewing interfacing for certain parts of it as well so yeah, I feel very productive and it means that I can start sewing tomorrow, which is awesome. Obviously gonna work on my little red dress project first, get that done. It's a by hand, Lond by hand London and a bodice with a five panel circle skirt on it. The time consuming thing is going to be mounting all of the silk onto the calico and the cotton lawn to give it um, more structure. Uh, and then then get to sew everything together so I've got to then sew all the bodice pieces together and all the skirt pieces together I've then got to do the lining pieces attach all those but it is a very easy dress to construct I remember how I do it I know that this one fits me I am going to sew it with half inch seam allowance rather than five eighths of an inch seam allowance just so there is that little bit of dinner room shall we say so yes i'm going to do that but other than that i know this dress fits me so it's going to be a really quick sew which is good because i want to finish the hem by hand and then i've got the uh, pansy trim that i got from the stitching elmers in ride that i want to sew onto the belt and hopefully around the neckline as well i think that's going to look good i think so so yes i should be very busy tomorrow very very busy indeed but I am looking forward to it. I haven't been behind my sewing machine for ages, it feels like, so yes. Anyway, uh, enough waffling. I really hope you have enjoyed what I have been up to today. I hope I have answered some of your questions that you asked me in the comments yesterday. Uh, I will go through a few more answers tomorrow for ones I can think of. So yeah, that's it. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.